Hi, it's Phoenix Genesis. Well, I'm in the Christmas mood, so I want to show you this uh, Christmas build. This is again in my um, Minecraft PlayStation 4 Bedrock um, beta, which I'm going to have to finish rebuilding. I built this building. I expanded it in the um, Bedrock edition, but I went back to PS4 because of stability issues until they fix out the uh, Cliffs and cave Caves bug. So I'm going to have to... Um, remodel i really made this more elegant so anyway i'm going to give you a tour this is the remodeled version i think it came out nice i've used these candy canes a couple times in my world but these are kind of like a connecting pathway uh um this is in creative so yeah, really nice expensive build very colorful um just for kind of brighten up the snow section just to have a little color here um you know just really nice it goes nice with this giant um water temple over here which i can show you in another video oops yes i got a little custom ice spikes biome i'm building too so nice thing about having minecraft on your um iphone is you can actually load up a world and you know find a biome like ice spikes and then you can kind of get a feel for how to recreate it or you see something really nice a really nice uh features or um, in one of the another Minecraft scene, you just kind of want to recreate it for your super flat or even terraforming your own uh, regular Minecraft world. So and these llamas are not going to is supposed to be here like, but oh, well, they can stay here anyway. Let me just kind of take a quick peek around here. But yeah, just basically, um, you know, quartz, some pillared quartz, a uh, little um, diorite here, um, some nice little berries give it a festive feel. Except you have to be careful when you take your animals out, keep them on a leash because, yeah, the berries are deadly. I might replace that with something else. Um, there we go. Here's this side. A lot of um, I you used the uh, packed ice. I just thought it looked really, really nice. And... Um, keeping with the kind of the snow theme and that's the side of the building so anyway let's go take a peek inside uh where is the door it's on over here little birch kind of picks up the uh, nice mm. colors just kind of um you know and, and blue and the yellow of course are color opposite so they kind of bring out both I really like that and then the white's a nice neutral um very simple uh lights here I wanted to do something a little bit stylish mm. kind of keeping with kind of that blocky ice feel almost like they're I guess like little kind of um icicle style so anyway just um bunch of animals here probably um I don't know why I did nether brick, I guess, just kind of to have some dark contrast with the light. But I may change out the fencing at some point um, for something else. Depends. You know, as you do things, some things stay and then some things you want to, I don't know, change up a little bit. You just feel like you're a better designer. We have some new materials to use, so then you change it. So let's go look at the upstairs. This is one reason I like being in creative because I don't have to let any animals out. And then upstairs here. I always like to have glass where I can look down and kind of see the animals and just, you know, all your basic crafting stuff is up here. Um, you know, nice little view here. So we've got nice little bedroom. Let's see, take, take a nice little look here. Little water features. Nice view. Again, view is everything. If I don't have a sunrise and sunset, I want a nice view of something, especially in super flat. You know, it just adds landscaping and interior design are two things that really, um, you know, add the, to the value of a home. It's not just take a home, plop it anywhere in Minecraft or any type of building. It's all location, let's say in real estate, location, 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 you know. And if super flat, you don't have a location, you create a location. So just terraform and get it all beautiful um anyway let's go out here and here's this uh little deck here yes i laid um all that by a lot of that by hand in ps4 and then i used the uh command blocks to kind of paste it in here um so much nicer but i was hardcore man i did a lot of stuff by hand in uh the ps4 version so anyway this is it. Actually, we could just jump out this way. Oh, that's a bed. We'll jump out the other way. So we only, I forgot. I haven't been in here in a while. I'm surprised it doesn't lag with all the animals in here. So that's a good sign on an old PlayStation 4. I can have that many animals and it doesn't lag. 
So um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And um, yeah, I'm building up. Also, uh, I might as well show you the, right here this little terraforming. We'll, we'll save this. I'm still building this little mountain with that house. And there's another little um, house right here and then a lighthouse into a different area. But again, um, don't be afraid to terraform. <laughs> you know, you're super flat. doesn't have to be flat. So yeah, I thought that's a nice little pond feature. You know, a nice thing too with um, super flat is you can um, actually make some custom biome things like this that just don't look like anything you would see in a regular Minecraft world. And again, you can integrate. I've integrated custom biomes in my regular um, PS4 survival world um, based on just learning how to terraform in super flat. So um, that's it. I would like to eventually recreate some kind of version of this, maybe with concrete instead of expensive blocks in my um, PS4 survival world. So anyway, talk to you guys later. Get in the holiday uh, festive spirit for me. Eat like chocolate chip cookies and enjoy yourself. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.